Hey you guys, today we're gonna draw another dog. What kind of dog are we drawing? A golden doodle. A golden doodle. We hope you're gonna follow along with us and you got a marker and some paper. You ready to start? Yeah. We're first gonna draw his eyes up here in the top left of our paper. And we're gonna draw a circle. And we don't wanna draw it too big because we're not, we're gonna draw him kind of realistic, kind of cartoony. And then we can color it in, except I'm gonna leave a little white reflection in his eye. Good. Now, we're gonna draw another eye over here, and this time I'm gonna draw the eye more like an oval shape. It's not very wide, but it's the same height. And then we can color it in, but also leave a little white reflection in his eye. Okay, now we're gonna draw his nose, and we're gonna draw it right below his left eye. So let's first draw a V shape. And then we'll connect the top. All right, there's our little golden doodle nose. <laughs> <laughs> and then inside, let's draw two little nostrils. And then right below his nose, we'll draw a line coming down. Then we're gonna draw an S line that comes out this way. So we're gonna curve one way and then back the other way. Good, and then we can do the same thing on the other side, except I'm not gonna draw as far out. So as far to the left as we did on the right side. Okay, next let's finish his nose and also his mouth. So we're gonna to connect to his eye and we're gonna come over on this side. Then let's draw a little zigzag line back as we go down and connect to his little mustache. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Let's draw a big curve though that comes out this way. And then we'll do zigzags connecting back to his mustache. <laughs> okay, now we can draw his little tongue sticking out of his mouth. So we'll draw the letter U, and then right in the middle we can draw a little line for the middle of his tongue. And then let's draw the bottom of his mouth, connecting from the left side over to the right side. Good, now they kind of look like they have eyebrows. So let's draw another zigzag line that goes over his eye and almost comes down and connects to his beard, mustache. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And this one, I'm gonna draw all the way down and connect it to his face. Perfect. Next, we can draw his ear and the top of his head. So I'm gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a shape that comes around and we can draw zigzags and little bumpy lines so that he looks like he has his curly fur, golden doodle fur. Then I'm gonna stop up here right above his two eyes. And then here we can draw, let's draw a little spiky hairdo. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and then let's draw his right ear. So we're gonna draw that same kind of bumpy line, comes around to the other side and then we're gonna loop back around and create his ear. Oh, he looks really cute, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay, now we're ready to draw his body. So we're gonna start right under his jaw and we're gonna draw a line that comes down for his neck and also curves for his chest. <laughs> now let's draw his front leg. We're gonna draw another bumpy line that comes down Then we're gonna draw the back of his front leg. So we're gonna start over here and draw a bumpy line coming down to the same length. Yeah, and then we can connect them with a curve. Perfect, okay, now let's make him look 3D by drawing another front leg. And we're gonna draw it right next to the first one. And then we'll connect it down at the bottom into his other leg. We did it, okay, now let's draw his belly. So we're gonna imagine this neckline that comes down and turns into his chest. We're gonna imagine that going behind his leg and then coming out behind and then coming up just a little bit. And then we can also curve down also. See how it curves one way and then back the other way. <laughs> like your, your dog is oh, looking, it came up really <laughs> high. That's okay, I like it. <laughs> Maybe he's a skinny golden doodle. Yeah. Okay, let's draw let's draw his back leg next. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes down. And we don't wanna go all the way down to the bottom, yeah. And then we're gonna curve back 
the other way. And then that's the end, the bottom of his leg. Perfect. Now we're going to come up here and we're going to finish his back and also finish the back of his leg. So let's start right here. We're going to draw his back and we're going to curve. We're going to come down here and then as soon as we get around to his back, we'll start curving down. Yeah, I like it, man. Good job. <laughs> and then right here, we're going to curve like we did on the front of his leg. We're going to curve around to finish. Yes, and then down here at the bottom, we'll connect the two. Now, if we ever go too fast, what can our friends do at home? Pause the video. Yes, pause the video if you need extra time to complete a step. Okay, he needs his second back leg. So let's draw it right next to this one. We'll just keep it nice and easy. So we're gonna draw a curve just like we did at the beginning and then we'll curve back the other way and then connect it in. Okay, we need to do one last thing. What is he missing? Draw his tail. Yeah, we need to draw his tail. So we'll start right here. We'll draw another little bumpy curve that comes down and then right at the end it's gonna curl out. Yeah, and then right here, we're going to curve back in to complete his tail. All right, we finished our golden doodles, and it's okay that they look a little different, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yes, to have fun. And what's the second most important thing? To practice. Yes, to practice. And we could draw this all over again, and I promise the second time we do it, it'll turn out even better than yes. the first time. Okay, let's put our markers off to the side. We need to do one last thing. What is it? Color. Yes, he's going to look so much better once we color him. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. now. Okay, we finished coloring our golden doodle, except we're gonna add some shading to make him look even more 3D. So we have a medium brown, and we're gonna first shade his legs, and we're gonna shade the legs that are on the backside of his body. So we'll start dark up next to his body, and then as we move down his leg, we're gonna gradually get lighter and lighter until it's completely faded out. And we're gonna repeat that same step over here on his front leg. Now let's add some shading to his tail. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to be really dark next to his body. And then as we get away from his body, gradually get lighter. Now we can also add a shadow underneath his chin and on his neck. Now I'm going to add a few more shadows to the bottom side of his ear, right next to his cheek. And I'm also going to add a shadow over here on this ear. And we can also shade underneath his ear, right underneath his eyebrows. And one last shadow I'm gonna do on his mouth. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished coloring and shading our golden doodle. He looks awesome. And I love how three-dimensional he looks. Yeah. Now you guys at home can pause the video to color him the same way that we colored him. Or you can also use your creativity to color him a different way. We hope you have fun drawing your golden doodles with us. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.